every 10 minutes. Get your day started the easy way. Lee and Leslie on your side with weather and traffic on the 8th. Only on News Channel 8 today. I am so grateful and so blessed to have had this career in my hometown for 38 years, for my children to get to live in the same place. People in my business hop all over the place. They didn't have to hop anywhere. And they got to grow up here. And I'm just so grateful for all of that. So please accept my love and my thanks for everything. And just know that I'll always be on your side. I promise. <laughs> And with that, Gail Searins ended her 38-year career here at News Channel 8 just about an hour ago. A bit earlier, she talked to all of us up in the newsroom as we said our personal goodbye. Who gets to do this? Who gets to grow up in their hometown, stay in their hometown for all of their adult life and their career, and then be surrounded by this love and it just doesn't happen. Not very much in our business anyway, right? So thank you for letting me stay so long. The greatest gift that I have is the love of my amazing husband and my children and all of my friends. And everyone in this room I consider a friend because each and every one of you in some big way or small way has touched my life. And I will never forget it. These have been amazing. And we invite you to watch our emotional tribute to Gail tonight. We'll bring you a special show dedicated to Gail's long and very celebrated career. Gail Searin's Always On Your Side airs at 7.30 tonight right here on News Channel 8, right after this show. You know, Steve and I were just talking about it seems so strange, yeah. like, to even be watching that and seeing this and saying she's not going to be back here tomorrow and yeah. well, she's been such a force for all of us that have worked with her. Absolutely and she'll be in the community obviously for yeah. years you'll see her around town and everything like that but it's a loss for us in that she was such a, a leader for us in our station a symbol of our station and uh, and the goodness of our station because she is such a great person in the community and has been for many many years. And as kind and genuine yeah. as you see her on TV that is the real deal in real life and she is just an awesome lady. I know she's watching right now with her family. <laughs> so hugs and kisses to you guys at Gail's house. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tonight at 11. Love you, Gail. And we don't know a Tampa without Gail Serens on uh, Channel 8. Yeah, she is as um, iconic a figure in Tampa as anyone we have. You are tried and true part of the fabric of Tampa Bay. And you have made this a better community. We'll miss her, I know that, because she's done such a great job. Everyone is going to miss you. Congratulations, uh, Gail, on your retirement. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations on a remarkable 38-year career. Now, a special presentation. Gail Sirens, always on your side. Hello, I'm Keith Kate. I've had the pleasure of working beside Gail Searins for more than 15 years, and I am proud to call her my good friend. Then again, Gail is a friend to us all. She is without a doubt one of the most prominent and enduring TV news anchors in Tampa Bay history. Night after night, viewers have welcomed Gail into their homes. Well now, she invites you into hers for a personal and reflective look back at a stellar broadcasting career that has spanned nearly four decades. Then two things I cook. That chicken dish with crumbs. Gail Sarin spends a lot of time in her kitchen. I do make good stuff. Because she mom. jokingly says this is where she does her crossword puzzles. That was easy. The real chef in the family is her husband, Mike Martin, owner of Mike's Pies. They've been married 28 years. They have three grown children, a couple of dogs, and a few cats. So here on Gail's last day, I wanted to share a memory when I was in third grade. Gail has lived and worked in Tampa most of her life. She was born Gail Corrine Sirens in 1954. The family moved from Jacksonville to Tampa when she was three. Her mother Betty, along with the help of her grandmother, raised Gail after a freak elevator accident killed her father when Gail was just six years old. Her mother eventually remarried. Floyd's self took on the role of full-time dad to a teenage girl with big dreams. 
After graduating from Florida State University, Gail joined WFLA News Channel 8 as a sports reporter and became a star on the rise. I suspect one of the writers you were talking about. She did freelance work as a play-by-play -play announcer for ESPN, a substitute for NBC sports anchor Bob Costas, and the first, and as it turns out, only woman to do play-by-play -play for a regular season NFL.